And so then the next question is, what is your favorite part of your partner's culture? Chicken. God. That's the only thing that he likes, chicken. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I think that I really think that's your favorite. But I mean, we talked all about it. But I mean, this this is a new part to the, the thing. Yeah. I think we talked about all all of the stuff that we really appreciate about mm. each other's culture. But mm -hmm. yeah, we really say that. But I think I mean again. Just as a bonus. As a bonus. Chicken. chicken. Yeah. And for her, sushi. Yeah. 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 That's it. Okay, moving on to the next question. <laughs> Oh, and uh, not specifically about interracial culture, or culture, uh, specifically about culture, but uh, she likes my mom, and I like her family, and her sisters, and she likes hanging out with my dad, too. So that's a plus from our marriage. I think just the fact that we have brought, like, our parents involved, so that's very yeah, important. Yeah, that's very uh, important. It's so cool. It's like... It's so I, nice. It's, it's, it's nice to just, yeah. You know, have parents with you. My mom yeah. is just, anyway, so it's just... I think my mom's the nicest lady. We're ever. gonna, yeah, we're gonna. She's watching this, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm but sure. you know, if you look back on our videos, we have this video where we went on vacation as a family. I think this year we might also have one. We're hoping to go. We're to hoping California. to go to yeah. We're, so you guys are gonna get also to see again our. If you want to donate to our cause. Uh. <laughs> Next thing is. Was race an issue race an or issue. struggle in the beginning of our mar or like, of our relationship? Wow, yeah. that's juicy. I know, right? Was race. Mm, no. Well, you're you're you always you're always open to the idea. Of I would say not culture, race, so. but culture. Not race, oh, really? because race and culture are two different things. So I think. Well, race is not really an issue. Yeah, race wasn't an issue. I mean, I don't care if I married, uh, you know, a white. I mean, you wanted to. I, but you I, wanted to marry I someone. I wanted to. But even you, I get. I guess like you can. I mean, you can talk on your perspective. But for me, you didn't want to marry a Japanese person, though. I mean, you're not Japanese. You're really not. Like even if you're Ming. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Okay, I'm full of some shit, bro. <laughs> you said smiling halfway. Like, you know what's coming? <sighs> oh my god. It's relationships sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so <laughs> you you don't really act so Japanese. You know, like it depends. Like sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. So for me, it wasn't really that big of a deal. And it's not like I didn't want to marry a Japanese, I just wanted to marry someone who's not... For me, Japanese in my mind were like close-minded or like, you know, which I was wrong because when I met your mom, she's Japanese, she wasn't like that. So I guess it depends, but I think just culture in a way that you would do things sometimes and I was like, wait, that's not how we do it in our culture. So that was kind of like a struggle for me because I was like, well, that's not really... For example, when it comes to cooking certain things. <laughs> <laughs> like me, the way you cook the it. way that I cook it, the That's way that I do American this, side, the way the really yeah, it's not my Asian. Side. Well, I maybe mean, I struggle with that too. Oh, but that was... like to be honest, you can ask us in twenty years because this is still our beginning of our relationship, and I think we're still finding stuff out. But I don't think it's basically because of race. It's maybe more on culture. Yeah, it's not race at all. Yeah. I don't think we're ask us when we're old if there was anything because I feel like we're still developing some stuff. Like I think yeah. one of the things that I have to figure out that I, I think my ancestors have done is like bottling up stuff. Just You have to be open-minded in marriage because you're always going to learn something from from it. Mm -hmm. So don't be close-minded and say because we're married for a long time then we don't need to like learn anymore. Mm -hmm. You can continue to learn even after years. But people stare at you when you go on dates. Sometimes. Sometimes, but I think it's just because we look good together. No, uh, sexy. Alright, oh, uh, next. <laughs> No, I legitimately think that's the reason why. Oh, really? No, 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 okay. That, it's, I think it surprises some it's people. It surprises some people to see us. I think in America, it's, 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 it's a pretty good thing because like a lot of people are starting to... And people have been doing it for years. Like, yeah. We know about interracial couples like, on yeah, screen and Yeah, but okay, I think... You know, when, when you're very connected with each other as a couple, even if you're interracial or not, people just stare at you. Because they see how, even how we act with each other when we're in public, uh, people are very surprised. One time we went on a date, I don't know if you remember this, but this lady, she kept looking at us. But, oh, yeah. Right? Look at, no, she was a racist. But the way, the way, no, you, we, we saw how she was looking. The way she was looking at us. Okay, it's generally the older generation. The older, older generation, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say when we go on dates, the older, older generation that still have the mindset of like, 
you can't marry the other race. They were like very like, you know, always looking at us like, like oh my god, that. Lady. I don't know. If, maybe it's because we're freaking loud. I don't. That, <laughs> I, don't I don't think that's the reason. No, the way she was looking at us. All the other <laughs> she was like, oh. Anyways, that was the stare. Okay, I've never had that kind of stare before. We, we've been. We have been stared at. It's usually older generation. Yeah, the younger generation, they, younger generation they, 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 they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. Which is good. I think the previous generation to our generation did a good job. Yeah. Um, about like breaking that, and our generation, just a little bit older, did a good job of breaking that. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. um, I know some parts of the country they're still struggling with this idea. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And that's fun. let me just say that just because you have a black person as a friend or your white person as a friend, it doesn't make you not non-racist. Don't say that to people. Like, oh, I have a black friend, so I'm not racist. <laughs> Girl, what you talking about? Or I have a white friend, so I'm not racist. That that don't that don't no. If you're gonna explain it in a good way, just explain it in a way that's more logical. Like that's not logical. I mean, yeah. It also, sometimes I think interracial marriages. We wanted to talk about this a little bit, but basically, interracial marriages. Um, we kind of brought it up at some point, and we're saying that. A lot of people are hesitant to marry like an African American mm -hmm. or like specifically if they're different gender. If they're the same race, not so much struggle. But mm -hmm. um, when it comes to a different race, they don't even think like I like me. They just there's no a thought of it. There's no opinion of it. Yeah. But there's also no pro towards it. And yeah. Um, it you know it's not racist per se, but it, no, it has a lot not. of it has this kind of tag. It's like have this kind of more of an open mind because yeah. um not, i mean first of all it's how we change the world the second of all it's like <laughs> there, there's a lot of pluses that could come out and a lot of struggles too but a lot of pluses a lot of pluses yeah and honestly so. think so yeah i do <laughs> think so oh, of course oh, okay <laughs> there is um a quote from Robin moon and he says that you know that interracial marriages and you know, marrying someone from a different culture will change this world. Last one, do Last you one. think it's more difficult to marry a different race than your own? Yeah. Uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, different race, different culture, different... Uh, the fact that it's different, different gen perspective. Even different gender. gender. Right. That's <laughs> like the biggest thing. Up. Why are we even um, talking about race? Well, there's a lot of complications even in, a, in the same race marriage. Yeah. Um, we've seen people, like break off and have arguments and stuff like that. So it doesn't mean that you're different, uh, how, being married to a different race means that, oh, complications. It's just yeah. adjusting. Every single relationship has complications. Mm -hmm. Whether you marry someone from your race or not, you're still gonna have struggles. You're still gonna have, actually I've seen- Don't couples, be afraid. Don't be afraid, exactly. So I don't be don't make that your first priority. Mm -hmm. If you want to marry someone from a different race, don't make it, you know, don't think like, oh, if I marry someone, someone from, a, from a different, uh, culture or race than, than my own, then I'm gonna have difficulties, then I'm gonna have struggles. Of course you're gonna have it, but you're gonna have the same even if you married someone from yeah. your own culture. Nobody of grows course, up the same. Yeah, nobody grows up the same. And of course, like Ilya said, of course you always have, you know, some kind of... It might be harder because you have to adjust to the other person's culture, but you still have difficulties. I've seen even in my own friends where you know they're black and they marry a black guy or a black girl but they still have struggles as a couple because those things are not just based on race culture gender that's the first thing it's like women are so different than men if you're thinking about it go that. through with it like honestly this is the best thing i've ever done in my life it pushes you farther it than pushes you, yeah um and like okay so this is this is something that we did a little bit of a seminar this past weekend but um we had this kind of part that we talked about decision and infatuation and stuff like that. Many people come into the relationship and infatuated or into a relationship based on infatuation, but also based on this feeling of love. Infatuation is this uncontrollable feeling. Um, yes. <laughs> this uncontrollable feeling, basically based off of selfish motives. What this, can this person do for me, or how person this person can make me look good as well? She does make me look good, but that's not the reason. You I'm also her. make me look good. And there you go. Uh, <laughs> You're so cocky. Uh, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, but basically, what's the, like, first of all, what's your base of your relationship? Mm -hmm. um, you have to really think about your that. Your motive, but, yeah. Yeah, your motive. What, what's, why, why did you even think about this person for someone that you're going to have a relationship with? Mm -hmm. But um, 
the, the the real teller is that you should you should once you get into the relationship that you decide to get into um, having this kind of long-lasting tendency or this long-lasting relationship idea mm -hmm. and then after that after that um, deciding to love when it gets hard right? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're, right. like I said complication is gonna happen no matter if you're the exact same, well, I mean, if you're the exact same person, then more you just get, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you're the same exact person, then what you're going to be more complicated. Thank you guys for giving us some questions. Without those questions, we wouldn't have this video at all, so we're very grateful. Yeah, we're very grateful for you guys, and sorry, our battery died, so we, had to, <laughs> we had to make a new video, um, or follow up with it but as you can see we also have a different background mm -hmm. uh, we're in a new place right now it's so nice we really love it and I think um, next time we'll we we'll want to show you around so yeah yeah stay tuned we'll show you guys around stay tuned for a house tour maybe maybe possibly um, and, and don't forget to have faith create faith, love, love. Peace, Peace and joy. joy. Bye. Bye guys. The questions for this for this uh, Q and A. The questions. <laughs> we sound like a game show. Thank you guys for watching. I can do it that way if you want. Thank you guys for watching <laughs> this. The price is right or the questions are right. <laughs> Thank you for watching another Q&A with the interracial couple Ilya and Diana.